the APAC Center, and we're here with Sunka Bierman, the director of the APAC program. Thank you for being here. No worries. All right, so the first question we want to ask, uh, what does experiential learning mean to you? I think Paulo Freire, the uh, great critical pedagogue, said it best. Um, he said that studying is above all thinking about experience, and thinking about experience is the best way to think accurately. And I think what he is getting at is the quality of thought, of analysis, of insight that derives when we situate our own experiences within the culture and society and world in which we live. And when we bring together experience with the theoretical language and vocabulary that enables us to uh, talk about it and analyze it, we're really reaching a, a different level of scholarship and of insight um, and ability to think for ourselves. How has the experiential learning model affected your teaching style? I think it's enhanced it. Um, it has elevated it. It has challenged it. Um, I've always been very enamored with experiential learning. Going back to before I taught at university, I was an environmental educator. So I think it's sort of in, yeah, in my teaching DNA, if you, if you will. But certainly doing that within the context of global has meant that I have to actively seek out and connect my students to experiences, think about how to integrate them into the classroom, how to bring experience in, and how to take students out of the classroom. Uh, so it's made teaching a lot more uh, out there in the world, um, a lot more engaging and a lot more fun. How do you incorporate experiences into your classroom? Hmm. I think there's two ways in which I do that. One of them is to make the world our classroom and take students um, into the field and uh, create experiences. Um, and when I say creating, they're not necessarily within our control. Those are uh, rather they are moments and situations and connections that as, te as a teacher that I facilitate with, together with my colleagues in order to create opportunities for students to apply what they're learning in the classroom and also for them to develop their own theorization of what they experience. So that's, that's one model, taking students out of the classroom and into the world. And I think the second model is also to remember that we're not blank canvases, but each of us brings a whole uh, depth of experiences, our own stories and histories. And so part of my teaching is to tease those out in the classroom, to bring them out and, and help students articulate their relevance and their importance and the level of insight and analysis they can provide them. How do you see your students responding to the experiential learning style? Mm. I think they're loving it. <laughs> I think being out in the field, being out in communities is, is very exciting. I think it, it adds a, a level of, of depth to, to their learning and to their inquiries that's really hard to, to get from books alone um, or, or films or movies. And so having that sensory engagement with the world around them um, is, is fun, but it's, but it's not easy. It can be challenging, it can be draining, it can be stressful, it can be unexpected. Um, and that's the thing as a teacher, you can't control what happens in the field. You can be careful, you can set things out, but part of the fun of it is really seeing where this might lead and what knowledge you take away from it and what inside. Um, but it's not just the experiences. If we had only a series of experiences, it wouldn't really be experiential learning, it'd be tourism. So I think what makes it experiential learning is bringing the experience and the theory together and reflection and processing are the tools through which we do that. And our assignments are extensions of that, of our, the discussions we have collectively. We also think about uh, assignments provide an opportunity to do that work individually and really drill deep into what these experiences mean and what insights and analysis we can derive from them. Thank you. No worries.